What is happening guys? Martin Martinez back again. Welcome to Ask Martinez. Um, today is not necessarily a question, it's just a quick fragrance review. Again, giving you guys men's lifestyle tips and dating advice. So this particular fragrance came out in 2021, obviously this year, from the house of Burberry. And it's called Burberry Hero. It's in the description. Um, again, just looking at this now, according to Fragrastica, has the uh, accords of a woody fresh spicy aromatic and citrus um, as a fragrance um now um, i've not purchased it um the prices in the uk funny enough from boots seem to be along the lines of around about for about 50 mil you're talking about 50 pounds so it's not necessarily the cheapest one i would say um, as fragrances go it's one of those fragrances that appears to be slightly more for age wise it's not necessarily a young man's fragrance 50 mil at this fragrance guys is coming in around about 65 pounds in the UK. Um, question would be, is this, is this something to purchase? Is this something that I'd recommend as a fragrance? I've got this on a particular card. I did spray it on skin. Um, in all honesty guys, my real thoughts on this fragrance, just trying to be, be, be honest with you. Um, could you say it's like a classic fragrance? Maybe it's like slightly more of a mature fragrance, woodsy fragrance, winter fragrance, maybe more of a like an autumn fragrance, I would say. Um, the design is not bad. Um, the bottle cap is metallic, um, or metallic, magnetic. So you do have that type of vibe going on. The presentation's a little bit boring. Not really much going on in that, in that regard. Again, from you can see from the bottle. But for me, guys, the fragrance is just, it's just, it's just for like bland. It's just like for something which is just a, in all honesty, again, I don't want to keep talking about this, but something you could even go pick up in Zara, in all honesty. Um, longevity wise on the skin, I didn't really get much of any type of projection. I didn't really get much by of any sort of beast mode performance. It seemed to just really become a skin scent. Um, the persons with at the time when they smelled it, they enjoyed the fragrance. They were like, yeah, this is really good. But for me, guys, again, if you're a fragrance enthusiast, for me, there's just not really much to work with. The fragrance doesn't really give much away. Um, I'm just looking at the prices now from Boots. Um, 100 mil is coming in at about 76 pounds. It's just not worth that. Um, I think it's a real letdown. I think it's a real waste of time. Personally, I wouldn't recommend this type of fragrance at all. If someone to buy this for me as a gift and I did not pay for it, fair enough. But my concern with this type of fragrance is that it's one of those fragrances that unless you're very much opposed to maybe going out and spending money on these things, maybe someone gave it to you or you know you got it on sale or something. For me, guys, this is not a fragrance. Um, camera's cut off. This is not a fragrance in my opinion that's really worth the cost that's being asked for. I understand the marketing, I understand the hype, people want something new, people want something fresh. Um, I would have expected a lot more from the House of Burberry when it comes to these type of fragrances. Um, if you do want that woodsy sort of gentleman sort of smell, could you say classic smell? It just reminds me of some like dated 90s fragrance, that's the only way I could describe it. It's not really anything to work with. Woodsy, armchair type of fragrance is the only way I could describe it. Um, it's not really much to work with guys. Um, it's not a young man's scent at all. Um, I wanna say that, I'm not trying to be offensive, but it's really not like a, a scent for someone I think in their mid twenties. Um, it reminds me of someone who's, you know, forties upwards. Someone's wearing this and wearing it at work, I wouldn't even notice it. I just think that's maybe just their, their deodorant or whatever it may be. Um, juniper, black pepper, um, a number of woods in the base and the bergamot in the top note. It's okay. I think the opening for me is not is not actually is actually pleasant, warm, pleasant, woodsy. But as fragrances go, guys, there's not really much to work with here. It's not gonna last you that long. It doesn't really give off any type of real projection, in my opinion. Borderline skin scent for me within the first hour. Um, after that, I probably wasn't even noticing it anymore. So for me, guys, it's a bit of a flop. I wouldn't recommend buying this one. But by all means, guys, if you've got any thoughts, any comments, leave your comments down below. Let me know. Please not forget to look. Please not forget to like and subscribe the video. Um, yeah, not really much going on there, guys. Burberry Hero, definitely a no from me. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.